in another couple of days many people will be traveling to uh, holidays tau dina kihipe ekin apa dannawa api man hitanawa godak ayat niwadu sadaha yamata sudanamen inno joel can you observe here as well yeah thank you um people going traveling is um, is quite nice right api e wage sancharaka gaman yam man hitanne ithama sundara deyak neda how many people like to travel oba kawuda kemathi e wage sthana wala gaman karanna with the air tickets going up the roof how many of you like traveling gwan tikat pat ganam giyat oba ehebe yanna kemathida there were times that we traveled for close to 1000 dollars and now the same distance we pay 3000 dollars api kalin dollar 10000 dila gi gamata then dollar 3000 vitara wiyadan wenawa but still people do want to travel e una thamat manushyo gaman ganna kemathi because uh, of our dear ones in other parts of the world mokada api aadare karana apage aya godak wena ratawal wala sirino one of the major travels in the bible is people traveling from egypt to the promised land apage deva wachane sadahana e wagel vishala giya gamanak thamai manushyan israel janathawa egypt we sita israel dakwa giya gamana that whole story has been condensed in one beautiful word called exodus me mulu kathandare me bible e tiyenawa nikmayama kiyana pote exodus meaning they were traveling in a huge group from one part to another nikmayama kiyana wachane theruma thama itta vishala manushya sankhyawa ek sthane ek sita tawath sthane ekata gaman kirima there is another meaning for the word exodus nikmayama kiyana wachana tawath theruma thama wenawa fleeing fleeing is the word palayama you know why would they want to flee from that place ayi manushyan yam kisi sthane ekin tawath sthane ekata palayanna awashyune because that situation where they were was not great mokada un he rendi siti sthane honda sthane ak novichcha nisa they were slaves and the bible says they were crying because the situation was very hard mokada un siti e wahallu washen noun andamin hitiye kale ithamath amaru sthane ek hitiye but they came to one one important place namuth ekol itha honda vishala sthane ekata awa and the whole um, situation changed e siyaluma de wenas wenna gatta there is a big red sea in the front on idiriyan ratu muhuda pavatiya the pharaoh's army at the back pharaoh ge hamuda oda no unu piti passen pannanawa mountains on the other sides de passen loku khandu pantiya they can't go forward on idirite am no heki they thought they are all done and dusted on hitu ame thame apage awasane kiya so some of them started crying on samahare andanna gannathi moses what did you do moses mokad oba apame khale we were better off there අපි හිටපු ස්ථානේ මේට වැඩි හොඳයි why did you bring us so that we die here ඔබ මේ ස්ථානයට අපි වගේ නම මොකද අපි මැරෙන්නද මරන්නද we could have died there අපිට එතන මැරෙන්න තිබුණා there were people to bury us there අඩු ගානේ අපි බූම දාන කරනවත් කවුරු why did you bring us here ඇයි ඔබ මේ ස්ථානයට අපි වගේ නම ආවේ even though they knew that god was with them own dana sitiya devyan wahanse own samaga bawa in a challenging situation abhiyogatmaka mohotakadi they preferred to go and stay in their known comfort zone than to travel where god has placed them for own ta situna api ara pahasu hitupu sthane meeta wedi hondai kiya how many of you like your comfort zone obala e wage pahasu sthane eta kemathi ay innawada your house your bed your kitchen your toilet obage nivasa obage murutyange obage nana kamare me siyalla bata pahasu ten we all like it right obala okkoma kemathi neda me wata you know making a place our comfort zone will take some time saman ek sthanayak tama pahasu sthanaya karaganna kaalayak gatha wenawa some people can make friends with anybody samara er puluwa ita yes lesiyen yahaluwan athi karaganna i am like that mama e wage kene i can talk to a rock and the rock becomes friend of me after some time man galakata katha karot e gala maath ekka yalu wenawa but some people can't habe samara er ehema maaruwi people are very very different minissu wenas hamathissema you know and they don't want to you know somebody to come into their comfort zone samara er tama ge pahasu sthane er wenaya enakan ounta mitra wenna amaru how many of you know that you have a comfort zone obala theruma ata me mokadda me pahasu sthane kiyanne kiyala some people come and sit in the church the same seat every time samahata manushyo avilla me palliyeth eka putuwak hamadama ida ganno that is your comfort zone e mokada yata etana pahasu hinda that is a place where you think i i fit there 
මොකද ඔබට හිතෙනවා ආ මේ ස්ථානය දැන් මට හරිම පහසුයි කියලා. It is good. It is good to have one place to come and sit, right? නෑ එහෙම විඳ ගැනීමේ වැරද්දක් මම කියන්නේ නෑ. When we were children in our classes, we knew where we need to go and sit. අපේ ස්කෝලේ යන කාලේ අපේ පන්ති වුණත් අපි කැමතියි අපේ ස්ථානයට. It is okay. It is okay where you sit, where you feel comfortable. එහෙම වැරද්දක් නෑ එහෙම පහසු ස්ථානයක් ඉඳ ගන්න එක. But sometimes there can come a shake up from our comfort zone. නමුත් ඒ ස්ථානය සොලවන දද කාලයක් පැමිණෙනකොට we may not like it apite dara ganna beri wei none of us will like it kaurwat kemathi nae ekata but if you are okay to give up your comfort zone there is a beautiful place that god has prepared for you habai obage pahasu sthana oba atharimata sudanam eyata wada itha vishala thanakata bo geniyanda dewan nahansa kemathi what was the comfort zone for the people of israel there the israel janata athi picha pahasu sthane koheda the comfort zone was making bricks ඔවුන් දුන්නේ නැමේ ගඩොල් හදන වැඩේ නේ කරගෙන හිටියේ the comfort zone was under pharaoh පාරාවගේ යටතේ තමයි උන් සිටියේ the comfort zone was staying with those people who are the the foreigners ඒ වගේ විදේශගත මිනිස්යන් සමග ජීවත් වෙන්න උන් හුරු වෙලා හිටියා they were comforted because 400 years they were all living there මොකද උන් අවුරුදු 400ක් ඔය වැඩේ කරගෙන හිටියා how many years කොච්චර අවුරුද්දද how many years අවුරුදු කීයක්ද 400 years අවුරුදු 400ක් If you are living in sin for some years, obala paukar jeevitaya gatha karaminna inne, that sin will become your comfort zone. E paapem obage pahasu sthane wenna puluwa. If you are living in that area for some time, obaye pradeshaya godak kal ehemam hitiyama, you feel that is the place that you will live and that is the place you will die. Obata thikan hitenawa meka thamai man jeevat wenne man marana thanath meka ma thamai. You know in this 400 years, avurudu 400ya, how many children were born? Kochchara lama ipadenna eth. They have never seen other place other than Egypt. ඔවුන් ඊජිප්තු වල වඩා වෙන කිසි තැනක් ඒ වෙනකොට දැකලා තිබුණ නැහැ so all of a sudden එක පාට්ටම there comes a man called moses moses කියලා මිනිස්සෙක් එනවා taking people out of their comfort zone ඔවුන් ඒ පහසු ස්ථානින් ඉවත් කිරීම සඳහා the comfort zone was not a happy zone ඔවුන් ඊටම සන්තෝෂෙන් හිටියා කියලා කියන්න බෑ you know every comfort zone is not a happy zone you know that right පහසු ස්ථානේ හැම්තාම සන්තෝෂ ස්ථානේ කියන්න බෑ i know a girl uh, for near about 16 years she has not left her house mama danna ke gahanna mekita avurudu 10 ak tamange divasen pirat kala nikine 16 years 16 years not left house out of her door oge ayage doren eliyata ay gihilla nathu indala thiyena ge athultama vela you know is that a happy place eka santosha sthane adda satur sthane but that was her comfort place habe eka thamai pahasu wenama hitibu sthane because somebody in in her life did something bad මොකද ඇයගේ ජීවිතය යම් කෙනෙක් ඇයට නරක දෙයක් කරලා තිබ්බා so the early days she didn't want to go out ඇයට එහෙනම් එලියට යන්න කිසිම උමනාවක් තිබුණේ නැහැ she thought what will people think about me මම එලියට ගොත් මිනිස්සු මං ගැන මොනවා හිතයිද and she made herself a prison in her own house ඇයගේ නිවසම ඇය සිරකයක් බවට පත් කරගෙන තිබුණා 16 long years she was shut her parents used to come and say pastor can you come and just pray for her අවුරුදු 10ක් මෑ මෙහෙම සිටි දෙමෝපිය මගෙන් එහෙව පාස්ටර් මෑව එලියට ගන්න විදිහක් නැද්ද කියලා. She didn't want to change her clothes, she didn't want to bath, she didn't want to even make her hair. She lived like a horrible person. ඇයට ඇඳුමක් වෙනස් කරගන්න, ස්නානය කරන්නවත් කිසිම දෙයක් කරන්න ඇයට උමනාවක් තිබුණේ නැහැ. To get her out, it was a mission. ඇයව එලියට ගන්න එක මහ පුදුම අභියෝගයක් වෙ තිබ්බේ. Some of us even though in all our problems that problems if you live in that problem for a long long time that you think that will be your zone ඉතින් මොකද්ද වෙන්නේ මේ ගොඩක් මේ අපිටත් මේක වෙනවා මිනිස්සෝ ගොඩක් කල ප්‍රශ්නේ ඉඳදි ප්‍රශ්නේ තමයි ජීවිතේ වෙනවා but i tell you if you are an israel your comfort zone will not be a painful zone it will be out of egypt in jesus name namot oba israel ta ayit kenek nam obage obaye prashna kari sthane neme obage pahasu sthane wanne and that is the reason jesus came for us anne nisa yesus christus wahanse pamini he pulled you out from the hands of the devil unwahanse oba yakshya ge grahanen mudagena and he has made you into a place that you are going to journey oba yana e gamane sandaha obo pitat kara we are all in a journey api siyalla me gamane den inne come on we are all traveling api den okkam me gamana yanawa where is our destination kohida ape gamanante where is our destination kohida ape gamanante our destination is up heaven swarga rajya so there are different modes of travel idin api den me gaman kirima gena poddak hitum wenas vidigena planes 
trains ships whatever there are tons of means of travel guan yana tiyenna puluwan dumbriya bus ratho asiyal ekama api gaman karana so i'll bring you only one example of what i did recently mama dai me langari karupu eka udaharanayak ganna kemathi economy class is not a very easy class to travel economy class ekak yana ekchara pahasu deyak nemini guan yana eka but it is the only class that i have traveled ave mama hamadawa gihila thiyenne economy class ekak ithara the only reason that i travel in an economy class economy class ekak gaman kirima athi hetuwa thamai because i don't have money to travel in the business class mokada mata business class ekak yanna mudal nathi nisa you know there is no other gimmicks in it okay because Eke, i don't have money to travel in the business class i travel in the economy class ekak mukut ma hanganna de yanna me kathandara thamai atta but whenever i sit in that economy class mama economy class ekak indagena yaddi i will be thinking how will the people enjoy in the business class man samad hitana den business class ekak kattiya kohoma santosha kinda yanne me welage how many of you have thought like that oba him hitala thiyenawada you know when our legs are cramped ap mage kakul walta ida ida nathi kota we will be thinking about somebody sitting there with legs flat mama hitana age ara business class ekak kattiya kakul mem udda daagena nathi kiyala he is sleeping and going mem ni daagena yanawa nathi kiyala god why my life is like this lord swami ni ai mam me vidihara mehema mote inne kiyala you know we all are in the same plane mama oppi okkoma den meka guwan yane inne but i am sitting cramped like this mam mehema kakul deka nawagena inne kota if i want to go to the toilet i need to wake up three fellows and walk out mama vesikilata yanawa nam mata me thundenek wena gitta wanna wenawa but somebody sitting there enjoying life ara business class ekak kena ithama thonde santoshen innawa in our life as well how many times we are thinking god that person is blessed this person is blessed why am i sitting like this samahata obi jeevitha toba hitanna pulla puluwang me manushya aashirwada vela anithekna aashirwada mokadda mama karanni mata vela adi we are all traveling to heaven api okkama swargeda yana me gamane some of you are still in the business class samahara business class ek innawa i praise god because you are blessed person mama dena sudhi karana ogala obala aashirwada lat ayi ni some like us are in this economy class namu samahara man wage sama economy class ek wenna puluwang i praise god for that mama ekata swamina prashansa karana even if you are in business call or in economic class the destination is up heaven but business class ke hidiya economic class hidiya to obage gamanaanthe swargayai in this world some people will be blessed more than you and me samahata me loke ne ekka manushya tawa kenetta wede aashirwadayak wenna puluwa some will have bigger houses than you and me ekkenetta wedi anith ekkena ge niwase vishala wenna puluwa some will have more privileges than you and me sama vara prasada samaharata wediyen tiyenna puluwa it doesn't matter eka weda nahe because our destination is more important than the flight mokada obage gamanaanthe ai wada awashya dewanne don't enjoy just be enjoying the flight and think this is everything ekinda upa mewena yana guwan yane gamana meka thamai awasanika hithanne pa because the flight that has started has to land somewhere mokada upa nagge guwan yane kohari gamanaanthe ekin bassanna thiyena not be every time in the air api hamadisa me aakasha rendenne yanne so the destination is very much important gamanaanthe ita awashyai so when you look at others oba ad anithaya sangane balana kota you may feel that you are very very you know you are very poor oba samahata hitan pula anith ayathaka baladdu oba mudana struggling oba me karadarai then i was thinking god there are so many people who are wanting to come to new zealand they are sitting on a boat and coming obala hitanna e mohote edi boat to en navasi lantera paminenna kochchara manusse me mohote balang inna edda have you heard about human trafficking oba hal dinada manushyan ohema horen giniyana gaman gena how many people have died in the pacific ocean we pacific sagare kochchara minus ohema merala edda they have tried to pass the indian ocean own indian sagare sita paminla with small boats they have tried to come here podi boat walking avilla mera pattata when i think about them own gena sitaddi i think god how better i am lord obala kochchara aashirwada ladda kela hitanna where is their destination also own ge gamanante on situe koheda the place i am already here then api me then inna sthane they have thought god we want to go to australia or to new zealand own sthane de ani mam australia avata hari new zealand de yanawa kiyala we want to escape from this horrible place me kharadara kari sthane mam iwat wenna ona kiyala and these people take money and put them on boats samahar manushya on ge ayata lesa mudal aragena ona boat kokada dala they say somebody will pick you up on the other side on kiyana rata de di eun verali di oba gani kiyala i have read stories of pregnant women with little children in their hands entering into those boats e bage garbani maathawan e boat wal nagala apu kathandara man ahala diyena because pacific ocean is not an easy ocean to navigate pas pacific sagar e wage lehisi tanak neme yanna boat wage hundreds of people have died 10000 gana minisu merala dibena why i am telling that man ai kema kiyanne 
many people who wanted to become what we are could not they also wanted to get into the destination they are not as privileged as us when you think about people who are greater than us we always grumble and murmur but think about the people who are suffering and struggling you will only have a heart of giving thanks to Jesus now people of Israel have come to a place they are crying out to Moses Moses why did you do this to us we were better off in Egypt how many times we have cried out saying God why are you doing this to me we all want to travel we want to go for further we all want to get into that great achieved achievement position but sometimes there may be a Red Sea right in front of you. How many of you like to experience a Red Sea? I would not. Because, because that's a hard place to be. Red Sea itself is hard. Imagine Pharaoh also is coming behind you. It's a double problem. And if God is with you, if there is a double problem also, there is a double solution. How many of you got it? Even if problems come, if God is with you, there is a solution. Because God does not want you to die in Egypt. He will take you into the promised land. So what you need to do? You need to just wait patiently. Everybody say wait patiently. Come on, everybody say, wait patiently. Say to your neighbor, wait patiently. And this is the this is the last thing that we all want to do. We all want to have it immediate. You know, we want it. You know, if God wants to give it to me after 20 years, why can't He give it now to me? You know, we want it like this. But God's way, His university is quite different. He teaches us to be patient. How does He teach you to become patient? That only God knows. For the people of Israel, God had to close the door and bring the enemy there was already a door because after some time God opened the door you know and the door was shut right in front of the people of Israel there was no way now the Pharaoh was thinking now I'll catch the people now I'll catch him now I'll get him back Think about the joy of the enemy. You fellows left me and went right. You did not know there is a Red Sea there. How far you will go from me. And these fellows were all walking and going. Pharaoh and his army are coming on chariots. Now you think about the joy in Pharaoh's heart. I am going to catch you. You know, once you are caught again, you are going to become the slave of the slave. It is a hard situation the people of Israel are going to face. But if God is with you, the double problem will become a double blessing. One, there was a door that was open. The second one was the Pharaoh and his army got destroyed in the Red Sea. When, when God does things for us, He can do 
two things at one time unwa sa deva deva deka ek par karay ki through your blessing obage aashirwadaya pekka he can crush the purpose of the devil as well saturava vinash karanna tunwa sa he can stop the laugh of the devil as well sinavena satura vinash karanna pulu that is what the bible says eka bible ekiya i will prepare a table for you emne sai kenna satura nidire edi nubalata mama mangala bojana i will prepare a mama yeah last table for you That that itself is an amazing thing, right? God is preparing a banquet for you. But that will happen happen in front of your enemies. You see that? It would, it would not be a secret banquet for you. The banquet will be secret for for you. 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 The the will prepared right in front of the enemy for you. The story of enemy 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 Esther is a huge book The story of Esther is a huge book talking about that. Esther pote ita mal assanta pennano Mordecai is going to be blessed Mordecai ta aashirwad labena kota You know Mordecai is going to be blessed because God wanted to bless Mordecai Mokada unwahansata Mordecai ta aashirwad karanna uma nawa tibba But when Mordecai is going to be blessed Mordecai aashirwad wena vita the enemy of the Jew is going to be crushed Israel hi satura vechcha kena vinasha kara unwahansata In the journey what we are going to do today Api me yana gamana edi we need to say God what may come i am not going to go back into my comfort zone pakiyanna purudu wenna mama nevata mage pahasu sanneta yanna kemathi nae swa anna i am going to focus on the thing that i have never seen till now mama focus karanna yanne mata nopenena idiriya gena i don't know how that land is going to be mama danne ya deshe koi wage dekha i don't know that promise how it is going to happen e porondu wena vidiya mama danne ya swami i don't know my tomorrow mage heta dawasa man danne ya swami but i am not going to praise my egypt namut mama e aapu e egypt tuwata mama nawa thena i am not going to elevate egypt any more mama kisi vita ke man aapu pahasu sthane osawanne yanne when you get a small problem in your work samata pogi rakiya sthane kuda prashnayak aawama the first thing that you all say my previous job was way better ayyo mata kalin thibicha rassa meeta wedi honda thena when this boss shouts at you මේ දැන් ඉන්න ප්‍රධානිය ඔබට කෑ ගැසුවම you will say my previous boss was such an amazing person මට කලින් හිටපු රැකියා ස්ථානේ මගේ බොස් කොච්චර හොඳ මිනිස්සෙත් some of you will be always saying pastor you don't know pastor dubai is the best place in the world සමහරක් කියලා තියෙනවා pastor pastor දන්නේ නැහැ dubai තමයි හොඳම තම රට ලෝකේ කියලා if you want to eat anything be in dubai pastor ඔබට කන්න හොඳ දක් අවශ්‍ය නම් යන්න dubai වලට or you know some places that you went and stayed for some time you think that that is better than what you are samahata oba hitapu kalin oba hitapu kalin sthanayak gena oba hitana oh dammi man inna tanata wedi etana nan honda idama ekena all make this mistake of putting things that has gone back up rather than lifting what we are already in api me nitarama karana varadi deyak thamai me apa pasukiya dewal uluppa dakwima even though the people of israel had struggled what did they say we are had onions we had cucumbers we had tomatoes we had that we had this where in egypt attarami own egypt wedi ithama amaru kale kiri namuthu athane moses sikena apata meva thibuna apata mee penne thibuna apata hama deyak ma thibuna kiyala but they forgot they were slaves there ounta amata kona own hitiya wahalluwa kiyala now they may not have cucumber and tomato but they are free people they ounta pipinya kisima deyak nathi wenna puluwa namuth naun nidahas manushyo today i want you to just thank god for the places that you are already here emisa maswan prashansa karana adda oba me sitna sthane gana forget all the past that you traveled apa ek pasu karupu deva gani hitanne pa don't hype it up hype the place that god has given to you e deval uluppanne pa dang inna sthane uluppan thank the lord for the boss that you have right now oba dang e labi thibena de gana sutiwanta wenna thank god for the house that you are staying right now oba jeevathana nivasa gana sutiwanta wenna don't worry about things that you have lost because your tomorrow is going to be greater than Egypt in Jesus might be. Okay, okay. Heta dawase hitapu sthane te wedi chalu usas sthane. Sometimes the journey may be hard but it is okay. Namu poda gamana samata amaru wenna puluwang. When in the journey don't think about the things that you have left behind. Namu tobe pasu kara apu parani de gena sidanne pa. Because we are not going to die in our journey. We are going to get into our destination in Jesus might be. Okay, me gamane edi apu marenne yanne apu gamanaantere yanwahanse geniyenawa. 
did you get it but they are not did you get it they are not i want everybody in bethel church to not say big things about the past start saying big things about your future ame bethel sabha ve sielu dinaga mille na meka puruthu wenna obage pasukiya de uluppanne anne pa say i will achieve in jesus mighty name yana swaminas ke naame me ma atkara ganno i have not seen my best yet i will see it greater in jesus mighty name aage honda ma de mata idiriyata labenni kele i am not going to go into my past but i'm going to walk into my future in jesus mighty name mama pasu pasarane me mama swaminas ke naame idiriyata yanawa kele sir i am not going to dream of the things that i have lost but i'm going to dream of the things that i'm going to receive in jesus mighty name mama nathi vecha deval ke neme unno hasa mata denne ana deval ke nithana kele and when you do that when i do that oba ya kalana vita the name of god will be glorified mohan sake naame esa wenne yanawa we have only one small life. life on the planet earth me loge apita kuda jeevithe ay thibenne you can murmur and grumble and waste your time oba kendirli gamin obata onna me gatha karanna puluwa or you can celebrate and glorify the name of jesus natham swami nuvansu bo somin gatha it is a choice that you both can do oy me dekem obata thora ganima thiyenne you know i can sit in the economy and enjoy that economy meal rather than grumbling and thinking about the people who are sitting in the business class obata economy class ekin dekene hondeng santoshin inna puluwan nikam business class ek gena hitamin pasu dawenata wediya i can only say god thank you i am in a plane not on a boat in the pacific ocean swami ni obahansa sutiwa mama inne guwan yana ekena boat tuwaka nemi today morning this was my thought father in this journey that we all started many people have lost it mama swami nanse mata adu situ villa thamai api me aapu gamani bohodo boho ya nathi vela adena kota when we accepted jesus christ as our personal savior mama yesu swanse mage paudgali galum karalase piligath mohote you have started into a journey oba alut gamana appatan ganna everybody know that oba danna ada meka when you gave your life to jesus obage jeevithaya yesu swanse da dunnama you have started a beautiful journey oba alut gamana klassana gamana patanga till now you were alone but with jesus you are not alone oba dangena ka thaniwa sitiyat in pasu ba inne yesu swanse when you have jesus you have the whole nation the power of kingdom of god along with you yesu swanse oba kat samse ne mulu deva rajya ta ba atulat when god is with you devyan mahan suba samagana even when you don't have the normal food obata samanya aahara ek pawa nathi nan there will be the manna that will be provided from heaven nuanse swargaya manna denawa obata it may look white bible says it looks white ekenin a sudu paata obata penne it looked like a coriander ekenin ga me mona hari coriander wage people never knew what it was kaurwat meka denangiri na me monawada kiyala but the bible says those who are the food eaten by the angels namut vachane ekena me devadutiyan ge aahare kiyala when god is with you devyan nahan soba samaka sitinu vita you will start eating the food of the angels oba devyan devadutiyan ge aahare oba mukti vindinne yanawa today when you say god thank you for you being along with me oba suti va kiyana swami ni obahansa ma sabha sitinu suti kiyala every meal that you are eating is the food eaten by the angels oba ganna hama aahare yakpa devadutiy anta dunta aahare wawata patta you need to just thank god god every meal that i have is a meal provided from heaven lord but labena hama aahar velak ma kiyana swami in vahansa vahanse mata me dunne you and i may be working for it attaram api e sandha rakiyawak karana wenna puluwa but it is given to us by god namuthe apita denne devyan vahanse even when there is no water apita watura nathu innawa nam the bible says god provided water from the rock for the people of israel vahanse israel janathawata gal walin watura kenalla dunna if god can provide water from the rock can't he provide things that you have not seen it unwahansa parvate king watura denna puluwan nam apita unwahansa nodi innawa even in your empty bank can god provide finances obage mudal adu ginumata unwahansa mudal denna bari da i have heard stories after stories mama eva kathandara vishala gana kahala thibena of people telling to me mata kiya thibena manushyan pastor i didn't have money to pay the rent mata rent ekak gewanna mudal nathu indithi wednesday i have to pay my rent badada mata e mudal gewanna awashyai tuesday night i didn't have money in my bank ආගහරුවාද රාත්‍රියේ මට මුදල් තිබුණේ නැහැ. I and my wife we prayed cried out to God. අපි ආඥා කරා උන්වහන්සේ අඬ ගස මහ පොර ගස. God tomorrow is Wednesday. හෙට බදාද දවස. We don't have money to pay the rent. අපිට රෙන්ට් එක ගෙවන්න මුදල් නැහැ. Will you provide for us? උන්වහන්සේ බොහන්සේ අපිට දෙනවද ස්වාමි. Pastor we slept and we got up in the morning. මම ඊළඟ දවසේ උදේ නැගිට බැලුවම කියනවා. From the IRD. IRD එකෙන්. Wednesday morning. බදාද උදේට. I have some money in my account pastor. දොස තු විදියට මගේ ගිනුමට මුදල් නැහැ. I never thought that money will come for me but from the ird i am never thought 
that IRD will be giving me money. But from the IRD, I got money correct so that I can pay the rent of this week, Pastor. I have heard testimonies after testimonies of people telling me like that. One brother called me up and said, Pastor, this time I had to go to one place and I wanted $275. I didn't want to ask anybody. This was going for an interview. But the, the money that I had to need to pay for the travel was $275. We prayed as a family. I got a letter in my letter box. A dividend from the vector. Uh, vector ayatening dividend ya kya bilati no laban shya. A check a DD that was put in my letter box. Aage liyum petti ata a check ke kak petla dipa. This was the first time he ever got something like that in New Zealand. New Zealand the upalam over ata ma a vector check ke kya He opened that and he said, Pastor, it was more than two hundred and seventy five dollars. There dollar desi hath to paada vadi mundala kya bilati. He took this check and ran to the bank on the same day. He encashed it and next day he went to the interview. Ek a kenya la bank ko ata dollar. I am not telling joke stories but I am talking stories of the people who are here in the church and you may be knowing whom I am talking about. If God can provide water from the rock these are the rocks that God can open and he can bless you people. Because my God will never kill you in the journey. He wants you to take to the destination. But don't be complacent in the journey. Don't enjoy the journey. Don't say, God, I want to be in the journey itself. Some people in the business class just want to be sitting there. God, I don't want it to reach Auckland. Because business class I paid, I want to be enjoying and enjoying and enjoying. Economic class like me, God, when I will reach there, <laughs> I want to get down there. Some people want to enjoy the life on this planet earth. But people like us say, God, I want to reach up there. I want you to come very soon. Because I know my destination is better than where I am. Only our hope is God, it's not the food that I am enjoying, the house. I am living, I know a mansion is prepared up for me there. Some of you are enjoying a first class now and you will get a first class building up there as well. I don't envy anybody. I don't envy anybody. Everybody's calls are very different. But our journey is a blessed journey. You are a blessed person. Come on, say to somebody, you are a blessed person. Come on, say somebody, you are a blessed person. I'll finish off with one small little story. One person got into a plane. This are all real stories, okay? I know the people also. He has never drank liquor. But he was traveling in the plane. So the air hostess came the first round. He looked that side, this side, nobody is seeing. And he told, yeah, I want the green color one. And the lady looked at him and gave the green little bit, you know. And this fellow drank and uh, it was bitter. He told me it was bitter. Then that lady went that side and came this side. He said, that red one. That also he drank. Because this is the first time he's ever drinking. Got knocked out. Got up only in Auckland. With three cups of drinks, finished everything in flight. He, he came to me and said, Pastor, nothing was in the plane. 
ඇයිලා බඩ කිව්වා පාස්ටර් මට මේ ගුවන් යානේ වෙන කිසිම දෙයක් ලැබුණ නැහැ කියලා people say there are so many things in the plate i didn't get anything මිනිස්සු කියන ගුවන් යානේ බඩ ඉතාමත් හොඳ දේවල් ලද්දකින් ලැබෙනවා how will he get anything people came and gave for some people who are awake you know this fellow was knocked out at the first start of the journey itself ඒ වගේ මොකද උනේ ඔහුට මේ හොඳ දේවල් මුක්ති විඳින්න බැරි වුණා some of our christian life must not end up like that ape christiani jeevithaye mehema wenna honda nae what we should not take we should not take ape ape karanna noyusuthu de ape nokaliyuthu because some things that we should not take we take our journey will be ended and we don't know what is going to happen e oba nusuthu se karot obata ara honda dewal labanna beri wenna puluwa take only things that are allowed for us devan wanse apra kiyala thiyena de karan because if you do that your journey will be good your destination will be good as well obala essay karana obage gamana saha gamanaanthaya dekama saarthaka wenna can we stand up to our feet as uh, we are going to just uh, thank god for whatever journey that god has given to us come on let's stand up and said the thank you to jesus you all have started a journey in your life some of you may be in your 20s you may be in your 30s you may be in your 60s you may be in 70s but we are all in a journey a journey of a blessing we are not ordinary people we are a blessed generation we are not alone in our journey god is there in our journey and we know that our journey is not going to end up in a place that we don't want to we will all end up in a place that we dream to be there are so many air crashes that have happened people who have taken tickets to travel to america have not reached america people who have taken tickets to europe have never reached europe they have crashed and they have fallen as ash in many places but our journey is not going to be like that because the captain of our plane is jesus he is not going to crash you in the journey the people of israel never thought never thought there was a way out they started crying out to moses they started blaming moses for bringing them out of egypt they wanted to go back several times several times in the journey not one not twice there were many instances they wanted to go back but today i thank god for god allowing them to go through all those so that there was pruning there were cleansing and only the people whom god wanted to make sure they reach in the promised land could reach in the promised land the bible says many people who started never reached there but the people that reached there one who left egypt was joshua another was caleb and many others who were born on the pilgrimage were the only ones who entered into the promised land today we sh- we have all started our journey i don't want anybody to miss out heaven we don't want to be normal christians we don't want to be murmuring christians we don't want to be grumbling christians we can be people like that but today i pray that you stop that and we want to be thankful christians everybody thanking jesus for the ways that god has taken us even when you think about your past don't gloat over your past don't praise your past but praise god who took you away from that past and brought you into this future and god has a plan for you a plan to prosper you a plan to build you up a plan to take you up a plan to make you fly it can be a tedious job to fly but once you fly hallelujah you will start enjoying what the blessing of god is upon you so this morning if it is a bit of challenge take it up take it up and say god i am ready for the challenge lord Hallelujah if God is with me who can be against me Hallelujah if God is with me if God is with me come on everybody say if God is with me who can be against me who can be against me even if a big 
and comes against me my God will give me strength uh, to call out that mountain and fall into the water it will do so because God has given me an anointing to do that and I am going to say God uh, in my journey you are going to be with me Lord I am not alone in my journey you are going to provide all my needs uh. All your needs will be taken care by God Almighty. Every need, every need. Uh, do you have a need for this week? Uh, this is a moment I'm going to pray for you. It is. Uh, I don't know what you're praying for. Uh, if there is a need that you're going to put across to God right now, and say, God, uh, I'm going to testify it. Uh, I'm going to thank God for it. Uh, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, I'm going to is your name for it this is my need for this week lord uh, hallelujah if there is an amount that you think god uh, this is an amount i need for this week lord uh, hallelujah put it up friend of god uh, hallelujah say to god louder uh, don't uh, don't just say god i need something uh, just like that specific 275 dollars uh, hallelujah say to god god uh, this is what exactly i want uh, this is what exactly i want uh, say to god I'm going to pray for you. Judah Rab, Chiara Rabba, Baba, Baba, O Rabba del Karari Gadagada, Rabba, Baba, Baba. Hallelujah, 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 Rabba Shagada, Ragada, Liria, Baba, Baba, Baba. One of you who is standing here is praying for a change of place. A building that you are staying you are saying God I want to move from this place and I want a better place if you are that person just put up your hands up God is telling there is one person in the church who is saying I want to have a change of my place is there anybody here come on somebody Yes, Gina, come on, lift your hand up. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm going to bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Come on. Hallelujah. Rabba Shagadala Rabba Baba Baba Baba. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God knows our heart's desire. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father. Let the mighty hand of yours move upon her accommodation, Father Lord. You are a God who will provide in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Uh, is somebody waiting for a bank loan? Uh, hallelujah. God, I want that bank loan to be cleared right now. Uh, is there anybody? Come on, lift up your hand uh, and say to God, in the name of Jesus, come on, Manohar, in the name of Jesus, I release it. Uh, I release it upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Let the bank loans come clear in the name of Jesus. Come on, in the name of Jesus, uh, let it come through. Let it come through in the name of Jesus oh Rabba Shagadala Rabba Baba 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 oh Rabba Shagadala Rabba Baba if you're having an interview right uh, this week uh, if you're applied for a job and you're waiting to hear some news uh, is there anybody waiting there for hearing some news come on uh, hallelujah in the name of Jesus uh, hallelujah in the name of Jesus I bless her in the name of Jesus uh, you will work a miracle in the name of Jesus Shama you will hear a mighty news uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Tinu, you will hear a mighty news uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh. O Rabba Baba, Shama Baba Badi La Rabba. O Rabba Dal Karare Gada Gada La Rabba Baba 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 Baba. O Rabba Shinga Di La Rikada Gada La Rabba Baba. Somebody praying for their parent. Uh. Hallelujah, praying God. Uh. Hallelujah, keep them alive, keep them strong, Lord. Uh. I want to see them very soon. Uh. Is there anybody there uh, who is praying? Uh, come on, uh. Hallelujah. I can see a couple of hands. Uh. In the name of Jesus, uh. your parents will be protected uh. in the blood of Jesus. Uh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Master. Hallelujah. Father, in this journey, we don't want to murmur. Is there anybody who wants to say sorry to Jesus for murmurs that you have done, for the grumblings that you have done? I have murmured many times. I have grumbled many times. 
I say, sorry, Lord. When I've not got things that I wanted, I've many times said, you don't hear my prayer. You hear everybody's prayers. Why are you not hearing my prayer? Am I not your child? Father, forgive me for those questions I've asked. Is there anybody who is praying along with me right now? Saying, I'm, I'm sorry for the things that I thank you, Lord, for the sea that is open, the Pharaoh that is following, because that's going to be a tomorrow. That is going to be a miracle testimony for me tomorrow, Lord. have shut before you but this is what the Lord is saying those shut doors have made you what you are today those shut doors are not going to remain as shut doors but they are going to be stories of testimonies there will be a day very soon You will take up the tambourine. You will take up the harp. You will use the talent that God has given to you. And sing like Miriam sang. I will never see the Pharaoh that I saw yesterday. Anymore in my life. Your heart is filled with the love of Jesus. There is such a huge anointing upon you, child. There is a divine call upon your life. Out of you two children, to your parents, Both are called to serve the Lord. There is no dying away from it. There is no escape out of it. Evil has tried his part in different ways. The final laugh belonged to the Lord. He has held you thus far. And he will take you more into your destination. This is your journey. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Relax in this journey. Give the journey into the hands of the Lord. He will take you through. Thank you, Master. The prophetical word upon my dear children now. There are so many people here. That the Lord wants to speak. And I speak. You will say to the Lord God. I would be that Joshua. I would be that Caleb. I would be those children. Who were born in that journey. Who don't have much to say about the past. I would only tell about my future. I'm not going to be like my forefathers who will talk only about the past and cry back. Father, I want to just thank you for what you're going to do.
that are fit to your body. Sometimes you said, God, I can't fly. The weight is too heavy for me. But today I can see God empowering your wings to fly. When you fly high, people around you will know God is with you. People are watching you from different corners. And in front of all those people, you are going to fly high with the power that God has given to your wings. So that the name of Jesus will be glorified. You and your family, Dr. Sam and Joshua, you are a special family. You are a called out family. You are a sanctified family. And these are seasons of testimonies being created. Just embrace these moments and say to God Almighty, God Almighty, very soon I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly high so that your name will be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, everybody. Come on, if at possible, lift up your hands to heaven and say to Jesus, Jesus, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Jesus. Here I am, Lord. There is a prophetical voice for you, child. You are not alone in this journey. Oh, Maduri, Bishiara, la Rabba, Baba. Oh, Rabba, Shagada, la Rabba, Baba, 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 Baba. Many times you wish you were different. Many times you wish God, why? Chuda mi kori adal karagado re baspi harabashi. Ho rabadal kuru ma shi gadil karadi gandari harabashagada la Rabba, Baba. But today my God is telling you, you are so precious. You are so precious. The battles that you went through, the agony that you went through. Even the identity that you went through. Many times you are sick and tired of it all. But right now in the name of Jesus, the powerful hand of God is telling God is going to use you so that your identity would not be your crisis. Your identity would be your pride. In the name of Jesus, I release her. your supernatural anointing upon this child. I bless her in the name of Jesus. I bless her. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus, for your glory that is moving here. Thank you for your glory that is moving here. Thank you for your power that is moving here. Thank you for your healing that is moving here. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your glory. Come on. Somebody lift up your voice and praise God. Somebody glorify the name of Jesus and say, God Almighty, I bless your name. Say, here I am, Lord. Here I am.
Shout it to God and say, You are my fortress. You are my fortress. You are my everything. You, you are my everything. You are my all. You serve you 